Well, this is it. The story of my Peugeot 204. Well, you gotta see, it worked like this. I was at a grad sale with a friend back in 2003. And um, I was looking for new plates and dishes actually because I was batching it again. And uh, off we went to this grad sale and there was a huge sign at the door of this one grad sale and said everything for sale. So right beside the garage, there was this little red car buried in leaves. And uh, I kind of kicked all the dust off it and all the leaves and there it was, shiny little Peugeot 204. Lo and behold, 1968 model. Well, the sign said make us an offer. So I made a really good offer on that Peugeot and I got it. Well, away we went and um, it actually started. Put a new battery in it and drove it for a little bit, but after the first season, which was late in the fall already, I realized we had to actually maybe do some motor work. So that second year, was the time. We um, found that there was lots of parts available and off we went to Thanes in Saskatoon and um, complete motor engine rebuild. We replaced the brakes and we went right th through the car and uh, by 2006 or 7 I had a brand new motor and ever since then that car has driven and ridden and started and just purred. It's just been fantastic, and uh, I take it along this street here that you see right now. It's called Spadina Avenue in Saskatoon, and uh, there's no better drive. In the summertime, on a July day and Saturday, which is when this was taken, you drive along the river, and the peng um, penguins are out there, and pelicans, and the birds, and the seagulls, and sorry, not penguins, that's another place. Yeah, so back to the video here. Um, so, the beauty along the river bank is incredible in a little convertible. And when you think about it, the car is uh, 50 years old. And there's something special. You get in there and you drive along and you wave at people and they wave back all the time and they always have a big smile on their face. Maybe something to do with the big guy in the little car. But you know what? It draws attention and it makes me feel good. And what a great feeling to drive this car. It's like um, driving your living room. The inside the interior is very roomy, and um, the car itself is just uh, a joy to drive. I wish I could tell everybody to jump in my Peugeot and come along for a ride. I often take my dog along with me as well, and uh, yeah, I'm proud of my little Peugeot 204. I know there's a lot, not many of them around, and uh, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this, and maybe I'll see you on the road someday, and feel free to jump in and have a ride with me in my Peugeot 204. This is Tony signing out.